I'm right off the highway just outside of Stanley, so you're going to have to excuse the road noise, but I wanted to stop here because this is a really good place to talk about the next indicator that we're going to cover in class, and that's density. So if you look out here behind me, there's this really great uh, open wet meadow. You can't see it on the, uh, on the uh, video, I'm sure, but there's some sandhill cranes out there. This is just a really cool spot. But you'll notice that there are some conifers starting to encroach in this meadow. There's a couple in the foreground here. There's some little guys out there. And, and if, you, if you really get down in here, there's lots of these little baby conifers. And there's lots of reasons that conifer encroachment is happening or woody plant encroachment is happening around the world. One of which is that as the climate warms and as the precipitation uh, year to year becomes a lot more variable and we have more significant and longer droughts, then these meadows can dry out and that allows the conifers to establish and start growing. Now, from a management standpoint, how would you measure that? How would you track to see what's happening with these conifers and whether they're encroaching into this meadow and causing a problem or something that you would want to address through management actions. Well, one way to do it is the indicator of density. And density just simply is the number of something within a given area, okay? And uh, density is a really great leading indicator of change. So you can pick up these little baby pine trees uh, back here, or baby conifers, right, really early and do something about it. If you tried to use cover or frequency or one of the other indicators, they have to get pretty big before you actually start picking them up, okay? So density ends up from a management standpoint and a restoration standpoint ends up being a really useful indicator for us. There's lots of different methods for uh, estimating density. Uh, some are plot-based or frame-based. Those are the ones we use most commonly. There are some other ones that are kind of funky called uh, distance-based density measures, and we'll look at some of those too. But um, density is a, uh, a really useful and important indicator, and uh, we'll cover that in this module.